Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here from Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from Richard. Richard asks, I'm rewiring my Ranger 23. When I tried to replace an instrument, I found a tangle of wires behind the dash. Not uncommon. I've watched all of your videos on marine wiring, and you always suggest crimping connections. Is there a reason you do not solder them? Richard. Well, Richard, that's a really good question. Um, and to be honest, in the marine world, we're really worried not only about a good connection, but a good connection under all conditions, which includes vibration. And a soldered connection can get undone when the conditions are just right and you've got this perfect little vibration at a single point on your boat and the connection should, could be broken. So yes, you can solder your connection if you need to, but to be honest, all the high-end builders, ourselves, we don't actually solder any of our connections. We just do a really good mechanical crimp and we make sure that we use heat shrink terminals and we've got a good connection and we definitely do a pull test, but there's really no reason or no requirement to do soldering in a marine environment. So it's certainly gonna make your life easier while you're fixing that mess under your dash. If you've got further questions or you want some clarification on a marine electrical, send them our way. Thanks for watching.